Hey everyone and welcome to a Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get started using Dropified to automate your WooCommerce store. So in this video I'm going to show you a few different things. The first thing we're going to do is link our WooCommerce store to Dropified. The second thing we're going to do is install the Chrome extension which basically gives Dropified all of the superpowers that we offer. And in steps three and four we're going to start importing products from AliExpress and other one-click supported stores. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is add our store. So we're going to press this Add Store button once we log into Dropified. And from the list, we're going to select our store type. So since this is a WooCommerce video, I'm going to select WooCommerce. So now what we need to do before we add our store and name it and add our store URL is go into WooCommerce. So once we log in, we're going to go over to the left-hand side menu and go to WooCommerce and then go to Settings. Once we're in the settings menu, we're going to go into advanced and we're going to go to our REST API. Now what we need to do here is essentially give Dropified permission to start reading and writing to our WooCommerce store so that way if something changes on either end, it's going to update on the other end. So if you change something in WooCommerce, it's going to update in Dropified. And if you update something in Dropified, it's going to update in WooCommerce. It basically is a two-way street. So we go to REST API here to set that up. And right here, we're going to press Add Key. And we're going to call this Dropified, so we know what it is. And we go to Permissions and Change to Read and Write. Then we generate our API key, and we are ready to go. So now we go back to the dashboard, and then we go back into Dropified. So we're going to name our store Dropified Test Store. Woo.com. And then once we name our store, we need to copy and paste our store URL into here. Now you're going to get your store URL by going back to the dashboard in WooCommerce. And then you go up to your URL bar right here. And then you copy HTTPS colon slash slash and your store name. So mine is EliteGrowing.com. So we just copy all of that and then paste it here. So we press Add Store, and this is going to redirect us to a WooCommerce screen that basically tells us what Dropified is getting access to. And so once you've looked this over, press Approve, and as you can see, our store is successfully linked. But we're not done yet. In order to really get the full value out of Dropified, we need to install our Chrome extension. And we've conveniently put this in the Dropify dashboard. So you, all you have to do is press this button that says Install Extension. And you will be redirected to the Chrome Web Store, where all you have to do is press Add to Chrome. Confirm it by pressing Add Extension. And up at the top right here, you're going to see that the Chrome extension has been added. So I'm going to move this over here, just so it's easily found at the front of all of my extensions. So now we're back in the Dropify dashboard. And here you can import products by going directly to AliExpress or eBay or wherever you want to drop ship from, but I'm just going to go to AliExpress up at the top. Now we need to find a product that we actually want to import. So I'm going to go to Notebooks. And so here you can start seeing the really cool and powerful features that the Chrome extension offers. As you can see, each of the products are surrounded by a new border. If it's outlined in green, that means it supports e-packet shipping. And that means your customers are going to be paying less in shipping and waiting less time for the product to get to them. It's a really cool feature, and you don't have to sell products with e-packet shipping supported. It's just something that we think is really important to show off. And this is all made possible by the Chrome extension. So if you go up to the Chrome extension, you can see that you have a bunch of different options. You can hide products without e-packet shipping. You can hide non-top brand products. You can quick save to your favorite boards. There's a lot of different options in here. And then once you find a product, you have two ways of importing it to Dropified. Pressing this button right here will save it into Dropified where you can edit later, or you can go directly into the product listing. So once we go into the product listing, and we see that it's something we want, we can go up to the 
Dropified Chrome extension again, and as you can see, it's changed now that we're inside of the listing. So I'm gonna call this Notebook for Writing. And from the Chrome extension, we can change the price, we can change the compare it price, and then we can send it directly to our WooCommerce store by pressing the correct store, and then you can either save it for later or send it to your store directly. Now, if you wanna edit it later and you don't want it live in your store yet, you can just press save for later and it will be saved to Dropified before it goes to your WooCommerce store. But since I've already changed everything here, I'm gonna send it directly to WooCommerce. And so if we go into our products page in WooCommerce and go down to products, we refresh the page. We can see right here that we've imported our product. So we've got the title that we changed. We've got all of the product images and the product gallery with all of the product photos directly from AliExpress. And then if you want to publish it and get it live on your store, you just press the publish button right here. And just like that, you've imported and made a product live in your store using Dropified. So that was pretty easy. But what if you want to import a product that's not an AliExpress? Well, if we go back into Dropified, we can go into Import Products in the left-hand menu, and we can see all of the different one-click supported websites that we offer dropshipping from. So if we go to any of these sites, we can start dropshipping products from any of them. So let's go to something like FastTech and say we want to start importing phones. We've got all these phones right here and I found one that I want to start selling to customers. Once we're in the product listing, once again we just go up to the Chrome extension. We can change the title. So Android phone. We can set the price, we can set the compare it price, we again can set the weight, and then we can send it to our WooCommerce store once again. And just as before, we can save it for later or send it directly to our store. So once again, I'm going to send mine to my store now that I've changed the title to something I want. And then if we go back into our products, refresh. our phone has imported. So as you can see, we've got the title, we've got all of our product photos down here. And then once again, once we're ready, we can press publish and it will go live in our store. And that's pretty much how you import products from AliExpress and one-click supported stores using the Dropified Chrome extension. It's just that easy. So now that we've gone through the basics, you can start automating your store right now. But what if you have more questions or don't know where to get started after this? Well, we offer Dropshipping 101 and video training. Essentially, the Dropshipping 101 is going to have a bunch of different courses that let you go through our 14-day fast lane challenge. If you have some experience dropshipping, it's an expedited program that basically gets you up and running and automating your store with Dropified. You've got the 60-day challenge if you know absolutely nothing about dropshipping but want to get started. This is going to take you from absolutely nothing to running and operating a dropshipping store in just 60 days. It's an incredibly powerful program that's super helpful. I highly recommend it if you're just getting started. And then we have advanced training and dropified black training as well. Then if you have specific questions, you can go to our video training. And this is going to have blog posts and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do different things based off of questions you have and different tasks within Dropify that you need help doing. This is always getting updated with new videos. And again, it has step-by-step -step guides on how to do everything. So if you click on anything, it's got all of the different steps in order on how to do them. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully after watching it, you've gotten your WooCommerce store up and running in Dropified and you've learned how to import products using the Chrome extension. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Riley with Dropified and have a great rest of your day.